Shalom. My name is Shana Harris, and I would like to welcome you to Bialik Hebrew Day School. Bialik is uniquely positioned to provide our children with the kind of education required in our modern and evolving world. At Bialik, we strive not only to develop children's intellect, but also to teach them how to learn. We do this by providing a well-balanced Jewish and general education that encourages the development of the whole child. Join us on a journey through our school. We will show you why a Bialik Hebrew Day School education is unique and the right choice for your child. Our preschool is where it all starts. It's in kindergarten where the love of learning begins. Becoming a lifelong learner is probably the most important uh, gift we can give the children. So whenever we create an activity and present an activity for the children to do, it's always open-ended enough that we're not giving them the whole picture, we're not giving them the whole answer, we're not telling them exactly what it's going to come out. So I don't give them a model, this is what you're going to make. I give them the tools, we talk about ideas, we brainstorm ideas, and then they extend it themselves. Our dual curriculum is designed to help students develop a strong Jewish identity and a firm connection to Judaism and Israel, while at the same time helping them develop their Canadian identity, culture and beliefs. In the preschool environment, our children are exposed to Hebrew language primarily through songs and the celebrations of holidays and festivals. Because it's Friday, we're celebrating Shabbat, which is so central to our Jewish life and the life of the Jewish community. And my other focus for today with all the learning centers is to address all the curricular issues that we must in, in keeping with the Ontario curriculum uh, and bringing it in, tying it all in with our Jewish life at school. At the math center, in order to tie in with our Shabbat celebration, they're sorting a, a large group of objects that are related to Shabbat, things like candlesticks, challahs, bottles of wine. They're sorting the concrete objects and then they're graphing them. So that would address the, the graphing strand, data management in the, in the mathematics program. In both general and Jewish studies, we set and meet high standards. Bialik is currently the only Jewish day school that voluntarily participates in the EQAO provincial assessments of grade three and six students. And our students consistently achieve between 20 and 40 percent higher than provincial averages. Hebrew immersion is introduced in grade one to achieve the goal of fluency. At this stage, the students spend half the day with an Ontario certified general studies teacher and the other half day with a core Jewish studies teacher, certified through the Board of Jewish Education. Okay, so how many kernels are in here now? Serena? 100. But how many pieces of popcorn do you think we're going to end up with at the end? Here, teaching is designed to engage, motivate, guide, and inspire the students. The objective of this lesson is to celebrate the 100th day of school, and the children do that in grade one by going on a rotation through all four grade one classes, and each of the teachers connects their activity to a different part of the curriculum. So in 1A, in this class, the objective is that the children use their counting skills and their counting strategies, as well as what they've learned about estimating and predicting, to try and guess the outcome of what's going to happen with the popcorn. And it's to celebrate, so we wanted it to be a fun activity. Well, I, like, I particularly like this activity for building lifelong learning, because estimation is a life skill. It's something they need as they grow. So the day 100 activity is very special because it gets to draw on all their learning styles and many, many aspects of the curriculum. 
Our Book Buddy program, where upper grade children read to younger children, is introduced in JK and involves shared reading in English, Hebrew, and French. Part of our core curriculum includes taking advantage of our well-equipped library and resource center. Trained librarians teach our students key skills required for research, reporting, and novel analysis. Research skills and techniques are also taught in our two fully equipped computer labs. In addition, the students learn basic keyboarding skills in both English and Hebrew, and how to do word processing, spreadsheets, PowerPoint, graphic organizers, graphing, and more. To take off, and we're going to fly to Israel. Our Israel Interactive Center builds on the school's foundation in the Labor Zionist movement. The Israel Interactive Center, we call it also IIC in short, uh, the objective of it is really to enhance and strengthen the ties of our students with Israel. Not only to learn about Israel and get, you know, just dry information, but to feel for it. And you can do that only when you do more than just reading or writing. Uh, for Yom Yerushalayim, for example, students from here sent by mail little, you know, wishes to put in the Kotel. And we saw it live, how that guy well, goes to the Kotel, take their wishes and put them in the wall. We use the, the tools that need to be taught and learned during the English uh, studies, also in the, in the Hebrew studies. For example, in grade four there, um, curriculum in English, part of it, is learning mapping skills. So they come here with their English teacher, they come and they learn about mapping skills. Again, a lot of hands-on activities. And then once they know they have the skills for mapping, then they apply it to their study in geography about Canada in general studies and apply it to study about Israel. And this will be in Jewish studies. Jimmy.